Hey guys, it's Biffy Guy and we're out here for another adventure. This time we're out at the Howell Island Conservation Area. As you can see right here on the map. This is a uh, an island right on the Missouri River that you can access if the Missouri is below 9 feet. I think it's 9 feet. Be sure to check your water levels. There is a trail and uh, we're going to try to find it. The battery on the camera turned off because it is quite cold out here. It's supposed to warm up though into the 40s, possibly in the upper uh, 40s and 50s. So that'll be awesome. But it is archery season as I was saying, so I've got the blaze orange on. And hopefully we don't disturb any hunters as we follow this 8 mile track. And uh, check out the river hopefully. There's tons of deer trails and uh, I've seen a lot of marking tape for the hunters are going in. I mean, there's like deer highway out here. This is a good spot for them. Right out in front here. Those are all mullein stalks. Be good to harvest now for a uh, hand drill. Nice straight one right there. That yeah, we'll leave them, we'll keep going on. I think the trail for the most part is just uh, like this road. Oh, we'll figure it out as we go. Kind of bush crafty on this trip. I brought the uh, Duluth pack with a few things in it. I can go through that later. These cottonwoods too. You want to talk about bush crafty. These cottonwoods are great for making fires. The inner bark there is awesome for a platform. And there's a, um, a fibrous... Uh, inner bark that's on the tree side that you can flip that thick bark over and uh, use that as tinder and I've seen people use cottonwood bark as a hearth board for bow drills so it's a great tree and there's a few huge ones around here there is uh, no open fires on how but if I was gonna be making a fire I'd be grabbing this stuff right here for tinder you can see all through here and this stuff comes apart and will fluff up really good and it's all up off the ground the good stuff well, we've come to a junction there is a there is a loop on the map that direction is not on the map i'm going to want to continue to go that direction from the field and if you go that direction you'll head back towards the chute so if we look at the map we're right here i want to continue down here and then walk over towards the tip take a look at the river so if we uh we orient our our compass here to north you can see that that direction is about southwest that way and that's kind of how our uh, our trail is going to go we can also kind of tell we're going southwest because we know it's 10 o'clock in the morning we'll keep the sun on our left that'll be sort of south moving west and you can kind of roughly guess it i just uh, came across a hunter he uh he was on bike and uh, he's biking on out to a spot with his bow on his back. It's kind of funny. I th I'm fairly certain that this is a uh, multi-use for bikes as well. So, and it's all pretty flat, although it'd be pretty bumpy going through this field. But I bet you all in here are some awesome deer beds and, you know, like uh, dove habitat. Lots of birds too. So I'm walking up on this area between two fields. You've got the higher elevation over here and the lower elevation over here. And uh, there's some trees here. I know they're sycamores because I can tell by the bark on them. Sycamores have that, that mottled kind of camouflage bark that strips off and becomes very stark white at the top. But if you're at a distance, 
and you really can't tell that like this tree right here you can see all those dots up in there and here let me zoom in a little bit and show you sycamores have these berries these large you know seed clusters and so that might be a good way from a distance to be able to tell that that's a sycamore and that's important because sycamores drop a lot of branches they're really good for fire uh bow drill sets that sort of thing but they also like water and so if you were looking for water you might be able to uh, use that as an indicator of a, a wet area and uh, this being a lower elevation i'm sure that this gets a little boggy at some times especially right down in here where it looks like there might be a little bit of a ditch so i don't know just something i i observed while walking and uh, thought i would share you know that's what it's all about go for a walk and share it i haven't seen any deer but i've been seeing a lot of mullen there's a lot of mullen all along the edge here come back here and harvest some in the springtime i'm all out of mullen leaves uh, mullen tea is uh useful for coughs and things like that and you can pull the uh the flowers and uh put the petals from the flowers in with uh like a mineral oil and use that as eardrops for earaches so that's a uh, that's two tips in one little segment you guys are just the luckiest. I will say that this place is not the quietest. There's a, uh, you can hear boats on the other uh, river. I think they're on the river. I don't know. It looked it looked a bit icy as I was uh, driving over the bridge on the way here. And then you have uh, Spirit of St. Louis Airport. So a lot of planes taking off right next to you. And I could hear a uh, shooting range as well which I think might be uh, over by Weldon Spring. Uh, there's a sheriff training area over there. So, oh, lots of noise, but it's very cool. This is a perfect day. It's starting to heat up a little bit, but the, uh, there is a little bit of wind, so it's retaining that nice, crisp winter chill, which is awesome. We're just following this very large path. This would be a perfect place to bring like kids, you know, because, uh, wide open and uh, there's no elevation although I wouldn't do it during hunting season because kids are loud so am I apparently here's an example of a big old cottonwood that has come down and then this bark material right here you can just pull this off and then shred it up much like cedar bark and it will catch feral rod and you can see how thick this stuff is. You can use it, like I said, as a hearth. And if you can get big chunks, uh, you can take big chunks out. They're useful for uh, debris huts and things like that, as shingles. Looks like a squirrel or something's been hanging out here as well. Chewing up on the nuts. All right, so I think that we're about down that direction. As the helicopter continues. So the trail goes down and cuts to the left there. So I'm assuming we're heading back towards the chute. Uh, so I'm gonna go off-roading through here, see if I can't get down to the uh, river. I hate to go off-road, not that I'm gonna get lost, but I don't wanna run into uh, some sort of hunter and spoil his hunt or enter a kill box. But, you know, it's public land. So we're going to go find that uh, river. Mm -hmm.